are ready. Oh, very good. Alex has his too. They're not required, but it's going to help you with planning. So let's find out what all of these things are. Hey, 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 everyone. Look, y'all, my camera. I am the worst YouTuber ever because I never get my ish together as far as my settings. Y'all see me fumbling around with my damn lights and stuff. <laughs> Child, I don't know how I got 25,000 subscribers as ratchet as my videos be, but um, my point is, is that the quality of my videos are better is because I went ahead and set the ISO better. Not the ISO, girl. Whatever the hell you call this thing. Um, I remember when, what's your name, sis? When Tierra, when Tierra Vian came over. She's another YouTuber. She also works for NPR. She um, had all her stuff set up. She had her cameras. She was doing test runs. She was doing what you're supposed to do because we did a collab video over here in, in my house. He, she was doing everything you're supposed to do before you start recording. And I'm looking at her like, I'm like, I, I, my stuff is up. She's like, you don't need to test. I said, no, I don't need to. That's probably what's wrong with my ass. I didn't, I don't test anything. I just turn it on. Here we go. Anyway, y'all, it's so funny. Even doing that video, that just reminded me. JV, and we'll get to how I've been feeling and why I haven't posted a vlog in like almost two and a half weeks. Um, <laughs> JV is a very good kid. Um, we're still struggling, like I think a lot of parents at this age with his ass not listening because he's getting some independence and he wants to do what he wants to do, but I snatch him up, okay? So, he's really good when it comes to saying things. Like, so at a like, young age, there's certain words that I told him, you know, you need to watch what you say, like, he thought that stupid was a bad word up until four or five years old because I didn't want him using that word, you see what I mean? So... <laughs> Yesterday, he was saying titties. I said, JB. I said, JB. Because, you know, he hear me say it every now and then. You know, I said, JB, titties is not a good word. It's not a bad word. It's not a curse word, per se. But it is not a good word. And he starts laughing. He could not stop laughing, y'all. He's like, but it sounds so funny. I said, it does. It does sound like I said, actually, it is funny. But don't use that sweetheart so he was like okay mama and so he was basically what did he say oh oh he said oh but it's so similar to teddy bears so can i just say teddy bears i said you can say teddy bears you don't have to say teddies but doing our video with the collab with tiara van the other youtuber i slipped up and said teddies Y'all know me in my videos. I have no filter. Y'all have no idea how much I actually filter out of my videos. So she was like, oh, no, we got to take that out. We'll have to take that out. I said, you don't say titties in your video? <laughs> She's very, very professional. Um, So y'all, allergies are crazy. Hold on. Girl, look at that skin. I think in my next Chick Chat video, I'm going to do my skin routine and show y'all the... um. The products I've been using. Allergies are crazy. Um, let me back up. Let me back up. It's Friday. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. It is June 10th. Happy June 10th. Y'all black asses been not be out in these streets on June 10th either y'all. We ain't gonna talk about this whole coronavirus but the numbers are going up in Texas, Arizona, California, like 19 states. My husband is coming home later and later. He usually comes home. Girl, I clock him. Oh, yes. My body is knows when he's he's supposed to be home. So he's typically home between 10.04 and 10.08, right? His ass hasn't been coming home till 30 minutes after that. So, yeah. So he's like, it's so busy. It's really busy. They've gone into an emergency plan like a lot of hospitals have. And it's just so frustrating because when you're, when you are busier, this is what I assume, I don't know. I used to work in a hospital years ago as a medical transcriber, so, but I never had to do anything like this. So I would assume as a nurse or anyone who works in the hospital, let me know, the busier you are in the hospital, the more likely you are to make mistakes, which you really can't do in this pandemic right now, right? So I'm praying for y'all. It is a lot, it is a lot, so. 
I have been um, just even more, y'all, I told y'all I was drained in the last video, the last vlog. It's even worse now. I am so tired. It's not a tiredness that can, that sleep can correct. It is a mental exhaustion. I just want this year to get better. And I know a lot of people are feeling that way. But what I'm also feeling is that we are far from over. It is far from over. And I feel like there's something in the atmosphere. There's a change that's gonna come. But unfortunately, there's gonna have to be some hurt with that change. And I'm not saying that it's something I'm gonna be going through. I just feel like collectively, this is what some of us are going to be going through. And so I've been praying, not as much as I should be. I'm a type of, yeah, I'm a type of person, I neglect myself in prayers. And that is so, um, that this, that's, you know, it's, it's important to pray for yourself. So I put everyone else <clears throat> before me. I will pray for my enemies before I pray for myself. Um, so really taking the time to reflect and pray for myself, praying for patience. My patience has gotten so much better. Um, and yeah, y'all, I just, I'm really trying to stay off of social media, but sometimes you get sucked into it because my Facebook is one of the ways that I can I keep in contact with my 200 ranch ass cousins, cousins or whoever, you know, um, So, uh, it's just a lot going on and I feel like this quarantine life, some of us are still practicing quarantine, you know, we're still self-isolating, which I am, but I feel like people who've had issues before, it's gotten worse, meaning family issues, marital issues, whatever you have going on in your household, it will either, it will either make it worse in this instance or make it better. And unfortunately, y'all, it is... Besides the coronavirus deaths, there, there is so much death going on. Hell, I just logged on to MSN and found out that the man that played Bilbo Baggins played. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Lord of the Rings fan. So the actor who played Bilbo Baggins, he's, he passed away. He was 88. But there's so many people that have passed away. It seems like, like I said, in addition to the coronavirus, it seems like any death that I hear about, it's like... It makes me sad, like it's somebody I, I know personally. One of the writers for This Is Us, 39 years old, African-American woman, believes she committed suicide. Um, and I'm gonna speak on this a little bit more in my chit chat. I'll probably tr try to film a chit chat today or tomorrow. We'll get to work and all this other stuff. Um, yeah, I'm all over the place, I do apologize. So, a YouTube family called the Myers Effect. I just found out that they're all dead. The father, apparently, the husband, he's part of the vlog too, the channel, the YouTube channel. They're called the Myers Effect, M-Y-E-R-S. And I'll get into this, like I said in the chit chat. He apparently shot the wife, shot the mother-in-law, shot another person and killed himself, y'all. And it looked like they hadn't posted. They weren't active on their YouTube channel. They, their last video was a year ago. But it's just sad. Um, some people, marriages, and we've already heard about this. Some people, marriages are coming to an end. I'm telling you, living close together, having to stay home and not really venture out, it's going to break some people. It's going to break some relationships. And that's just sad. Um... We are doing good. Look, we are, we are, my relationship, not that y'all need to know, but we are doing good. Baby, I've been with my husband long enough, and not to say that, you know, it can't happen to people who've been together longer, but what I found that <clears throat> it gets hard, it's something about that between seven and nine years, between the seven and nine, it's rough the first three years, but that's bantered stuff that you can get over after a week. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't put that lightly. You start to really, that three, four, five year mark, you're knowing each other, you know, in personalities. Oh, there's stuff I still learn about my husband to today, but you still learning about that person. So little, if you're young, 
mentally immature, if something ticks you off, yes, marriages can end three or four, three or four years, you're done. But by seven years, you know this person. But for some people, they're tired. They, they don't want to work it out. Um, and so it's just something about between seven and nine years where it's like, I'm done. You, you, then you don't want to try. But then I feel like after 15 years, you're like, girl, we, we, <laughs> after 15 years, you're like, well, whatever. Nothing phases me now. Unless it's something that happened. Because I've, I've known people who have gotten divorces after 20 years because it was something traumatic that happened. And it was it for them. <sighs> Girl, doing my makeup. Suffering loss of a loved one. Suffering economic hardship. I want fame, flames, and hate. Said from the outset of this election that we're in the battle. It's all states. I've been doing new for several months now. And I've lost about 30 pounds. Which is awesome. The fact that I need to... Hey y'all, hey y'all. Look, now my battery light is flashing. You know what? I'm so over it, y'all. I'm going to keep talking until the, the damn thing turns off. I'm at the store. I'm here to do my pickup. Um, oh, I'm going to go in real quick and get JB some vanilla milk. And then I'm going to park over here and call them to do my pickup. I don't go in the grocery store that much anymore. My husband was laughing at me the other day because I actually did a pickup for two items. And he was like, you only got one item? I said, I got two items. I'm not going to the store, okay? Phoenix, Arizona is off the chain. We got people up here refusing to wear a mask still. But now you have to wear them. Like, they made it as a 6 a.m. I think I told y'all. I came on camera and told y'all. But look, y'all, I just, I'm going to load up this vlog, I guess, in a couple more days. I have not felt like coming on in here. Not only have I been physically not feeling well, um, allergies are out of control. JB now has hives yet again. His allergy appointment is not for another three or four weeks. I was able to move one of my appointments up tomorrow, thank God. Uh, you, how you deal with things mentally uh, also affects your your health too so I'm trying to stay positive and optimistic but with everything that's going on I am over it when I tell you that I I don't think I'm depressed and I'm, I'm not having anxiety because I know what my anxiety feels like I'm not having anxiety I'm just drained and I'm overwhelmed and you know one thing I want to say real quick I know my camera may come off Everyone pitched in with the George Floyd, you know, all the companies, Amazon, Netflix, you know, all these companies donated money and, you know, we care about our black associates. But this is my thing and I'm, I appreciate that. I know plenty of black people appreciate that. But this is the thing. We're a black 24-7. We're a black all year round. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you have any type of um, uh, programs in place for your black associates? Do you know what I mean, y'all? So I I'm, I think it's great that a lot of these companies stood up and spoke up when the time was right, well overdue. But my point is, is that, and you know, even outside of Black History Month, which is way back in February, my point is, is that we need to feel this support yearly. And it's not that we want to feel special. We just want to be equal. And so, you know, me, I had a kind of an attitude over there because I'm seeing it die down. You know, all the hoopla for over dying down. It is what it is. I'm just, I don't know, y'all. So I did request a day off next Friday because I think I need to take some time off. I need to do some, some much needed relaxing because we've been busy at work. Um, I've been trying to make sure I get at least six to seven hours of sleep. JB woke up at 3 a.m. because he had he was all itchy scratching. Honestly, I've been breaking out too. I have a bump here. So I don't know if it's stuff indoors. I'm sorry, stuff outdoors. We have been going outdoors at least every day. We may have to stop that for a while. Um, because in speaking to the doctor's office, his allergies, the allergist was saying the reason why we can't I think our, our, his appointment is not even until the end of July. She's like, it's so busy right now. It's allergy season and a lot of people have issues. And so that particular doctor is booked. Like I said, my doctor, he's not an allergist, but my doctor was booked until August, end of August. But the woman called me yesterday. She's like, I can get you in tomorrow morning at nine. I'm like, cool. I'll, you know, I'll make it downtown. Phoenix, I'll make it in anyway. So, y'all, that's what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up before this thing shuts off. I don't want to be... 
I always say this. I don't want my channel to be that negative and down, but this is what I'm going to. I'm selling this. You're selling that too. So JV has opened up a Kmart. I, I printed out these signs for him. So, so this is where you check out. Come on in, we're open. All right, let's see what you got to sell here. So is, is that my old laptop? Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm done. This is this where, where you check out? It's where I check and out. Okay, show me what you got here. So Joke. all of these clothes Clothes. All these clothes. Okay, you got your clothes signed up. Are you selling my statues? My black family statues are for sale? And, and like, we have these watches. Watches? Okay. And over here. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if you know these ones, but the cassettes. The cassettes, and, uh, okay. Basically, that's it. That's it, okay. Watch your step because you trip on this. Yeah, good call on the watch your step sign. Yeah, we don't, you don't want them to trip over here. Yeah, I love your store, JB. You're selling these two. You're selling my other statues, okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I'm whispering because it is early in the morning. It is Thursday. We're at the end of, no, we're in mid-June. Um, I am up this morning. First of all, I slept really good last night. I finally slept, y'all, yesterday. <laughs> I'm getting broken sleep. I'm, I'm sleeping two hours here, two hours there, one hour. That is not good for you. But last night I slept seven and a half, seven and a half hours straight. Is that right? Seven and a half hours straight, which I haven't done that in weeks, okay? So <clears throat> I saw a new doctor yesterday. This is the most thorough doctor I have ever went to. Um, he spoke to me for about an hour and what i mean like he was very thorough he went over i've never seen someone go over every supplement he was like okay what are you taking elderberry juice for how is that working for you okay what are you taking this for how is it working you know what i mean just going through everything and making sure that you know it's working for me and how does it make me feel um and so i earlier in the vlog you heard me state that um I just haven't, or maybe I didn't, I just haven't been feeling well. I've been feeling run down. This past weekend, I, my husband was off Friday, so I cooked, I uh, picked up some drinks. I was already tired when I did that. I should have never done that. I was already extremely tired, but I pushed myself, which I have to stop doing. I'm not 23 anymore, so I did it anyway with the heat and everything and still not sleeping that well, Saturday, Sunday, I was out, meaning that I couldn't do anything, extremely fatigued. So anyway, this doctor, let me just summarize that, summarize it up, y'all. The doctor's basically like, basically like, your lack of sleep, you're not sleeping, combined with the heat, combined with the anxiety. He's like, you may not feel like you have, you're anxious, but you're anxious. Um, so he's like, if you don't get any sleep, I'm gonna put you on something to make you sleep. <laughs> so last night, I wind down. I need to stop y'all. Basically, I, I, I'm a type of person that I'm always on the go. I've always had this type of mentality that I feel like I'm not productive if I'm not doing it. Oh, this is what I have to do, y'all. We're on our way to the in and out look. Oh, naughty. I try not to venture out even <laughs> to go. I'm gonna hold my breath up, put this stuff in the trash. All this dang on junk mail. <laughs> Give me that too. You get to oh, no, 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 you keep that. Wash your hands. JB, you are out of control. So this is the first time he's been out. What is this for? Oh, uh, nudies. This is not a bill. <laughs> oh, no. It's in the front seat. Yeah, it, it's irking me that I can't clean my car like I, because typically. Ew, what is that? What, 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 what? Is here. What the heck is that? See what I mean? <laughs> Typically, I vacuum up my car every week. I haven't been doing that. I vacuum up my car twice since this twice? issue. Yeah. Oh, Come on, baby. Child, why are you trying to drive? <laughs> Um, so I have, I have, um, there is a family of three, and, okay. and there is a, um, and 
there is another guy, and there's a, and then there is a ghost. Oh, a ghost! Oh my goodness, Jabby. Where is your setting? Where is your story going to take place? In a campsite. 